And check this out. Our, Here's a tricorder. Yeah, of course, we've got our display. There's Spock. Yes. Oh my. Hey, George. Brad. You know this robot? Hey, I do. <laughs> I'm married to him. <laughs> In my endless quest to discover all things tech, I've embarked on the ultimate Star Trek. I'm George Takei, and this is Takei's Take. Oh my. Hollywood. Today I'm in Culver City, fast becoming a West Coast epicenter of tech. Not unlike the days of old Hollywood, money is flowing freely here, sometimes in the billions. I've come to a company called XPRIZE that creates contests for startups to compete in tech challenges. To find out what it's all about, I meet with Peter Diamandis, CEO of XPRIZE. XPRIZE. It really sounds futuristic. <laughs> Tell us about that. Sure. My own inspiration was reading a book by Charles Lindbergh back in 1927, and I had no idea that Lindbergh crossed the Atlantic to win a prize. That prize was funded by a hotel owner. So what we've been doing is modeling on that and saying, where else could we inspire amazing innovators and in the process, reinvent technology and create the future we want? When we put up our X prizes, we attract hundreds of innovators around the world. And so it's really the ability to crowdsource genius. And the people who participate, they're not doing this for the money. They're not doing this because their mom or dad told them. They're doing it because it's their mission and purpose in life. And you're doing it here in Los Angeles. Why? The first X prize was won in the Mojave Desert, just a couple hours mm -hmm. north of here. And that brought us here to LA. Mm -hmm. But being here in LA has been a godsend because we are creating this vision of the future and inspiring teams around the world to go and try and solve it in this epic journey. Our goal is to use Los Angeles to tell the stories of our innovators, to make them our heroes. This is Wendy Schmidt, who's Eric Schmidt, the chairman of Google's wife. Oh. And she underwrote this prize, which was when the BP oil spill was going on and on and on. The technology for cleaning up oil spills hadn't changed in 20 years. So we challenged teams around the world to build new technology to clean up oil spill at least twice as fast. The winning team increased the rate of oil spill cleanup 600%. Hmm. And this is a 100 mile per gallon car competition. It's 130 odd miles per gallon. This is a new generation oh, wow. of space entrepreneurs who are building spaceships that could take off and land vertically. Oh my. Is this what you were using? I recognized it immediately. <laughs> it's called the Qualcomm Tricorder X Prize. Imagine if we had a device like the tricorder, not for a doctor or for a nurse, for a mom or a dad. Right. You can cough on it and it can do the DNA analysis of the bacteria or viruses in your saliva. And in success, it can diagnose you better than a team of board certified doctors. Mm. And we'll be announcing the winner right around the 50th anniversary of Star Trek. I am trembling with excitement. These devices, are gonna be democratizing access to healthcare. Thousands of years ago, if you wanted to solve a big problem, you had to be the king or the queen. Right. Today, all of us can play a role in solving a problem. I've enjoyed touring my home stomping grounds, from selfies to videos, YouTube channels to crowdsourcing competitions. The spirit of the tech scene in LA seems democratic and aim towards a mass audience. No matter how much my hometown changes, it is still a confluence of creative people manifesting their dreams. Make sure to subscribe to Decay's Take. Looks like the uh, helm panel. There it is. There it is.